earlier this week, I talked about the social legislation and the laws involving the limitations on the power of the king that were written into the Deuteronomistic history, in particular the book of Deuteronomy by King Josiah in the 7th century BCE. Today I want to talk about the legacy of that legislation and the legacy of King Josiah and the Deuteronomistic history. It is significant. For example, the book of Deuteronomy, the entire Deuteronomistic history, and in fact, the entire Jewish scriptures became for the Jewish people after the Babylonian exile, a source of identity for them, uh, a bond of unity, because through the ages and through all the suffering that they have endured and all the separation they have endured, being scattered all over the Mediterranean world, the Middle East and Europe, through all of that, the Jews have maintained an identity that is based on their scripture, that's based on the Torah, because the Torah contains their morality, their rules for everyday living. It contains the list of their uh, religious festivals that are celebrated every year. It contains the dietary laws, the kosher laws, which they uh, observe. And it contains their history. It contains the, the story of the Jews as a people. And so it has been a bond of unity for them for many, many centuries. And a lot of the credit for that goes to King Josiah and the scribes who wrote the Deuteronomistic history. At the same time, that social legislation, the protection of the poor, the widows, and the orphans, is something that has become a part of Western culture, and it's deeply ingrained in, in Western culture. Our own American story is linked to the story of the chosen people. Our ideal of equality in America is rooted in the idea of equality that is found in the book of Deuteronomy. And our Christian heritage is also deeply rooted in Judaism and in the Torah and in the book of Deuteronomy with its laws about treating every person as an equal, treating every person as a son or daughter of God. And so while we may never have heard of King Josiah before, we owe him a debt of gratitude for the influence of his legacy, both for the Jewish people and also for Western culture as a whole.